But there are other, other people that are really using Amazon S3 as being a, uh, a very efficient, low, um, low cost uh, CDN. And the, and the advantage of using S3 as a CDN is that um, you don't need any contracts up front. All other CDNs require you to engage in long, long contracts, uh, contract negotiations here. The only thing you need to do is just walk up and, and you know, throw your object in there and give it to them. Um, will we will we extend uh, these services to to include more CDN things? Well, we don't talk about things that we're going to do in the future, but it's one of those things that we get a lot of feedback about from customers. They really like to see this, but they also like to see copy operations, and they also like to see this. Uh, you, if your services use as much as S3 is, you know, we now have 14 billion objects in S3. I think uh, since two two months ago. Um, if you have that many people using your service, you, know, you get a lot of requests. Uh, but people use it for CDN, people also use it for backup operations, for example. Yeah, this is a sort of the write once, read never scenario. Um, and there's a whole range of different scenarios. There's people putting thumbnails in there. There's um, Justin TV doing video. Justin TV doing video, but they also stream video on VC2. Uh, there's a whole range of customers with very specific different <coughs> uses of S3. For example, um, you know, so some people use it as a CDN or for backup. And the backup ones ask, couldn't you do a specific version of S3 for doing backups? Um, couldn't you do it? And there's almost another scenario that people haven't come to us like, can you extend S3 to do that for us? No. At the moment, <coughs> our real focus is to work more and more at the reliability and scalability of S3. Yeah, we, this needs to continue to be as rock solid as, as it is, and so that's our first priority. And then we're going to see what are the kind of simple extensions we can do to it. Now, new new APIs, for example, is, is that what we're considering now. Um, in terms of EC2, we went through the same uh, process. Customers came to us and said, you know, those, those computer farms that you give us, they're nice, but I need much more than that. I need four cores and I need 16 gig. Yeah, and so we went to a model where you can now ask for small, medium, and large, or I think actually it's called medium, large, and extra large, um, uh, formats of, of, uh, of the CPUs that you can get. Um, so yeah, we, we try to continuously listen to our customers and, and build a roadmap based on that, so it's internal, sort of prioritized.